Well, hey families, I've got some friends here with me today. I've got Ben and Anna. Now, tell me what grade you're in. Kindergarten. Second in kindergarten. And what school? What's your school? C.T. Walker. C.T. Walker. Well, what's what's you know the school mascot? A cat. Some kind of cat. Okay. Well, we'll say go cats. All right. It's a bobcat. A bobcat. Even better. All right. Well, thank you guys for helping me out today. Now, how's school going? Good. You're learning lots of stuff? Yeah. You guys aren't falling asleep in class, are you? No. Yeah, you know, I only did that like once or twice, and that was later in high school. Today, Anna and Ben are going to help me out with some stuff, okay? So I want you guys, I'm going to bring some things out into the table, and I want you to tell me what it is and what you think you could use it for, okay? So what's this? Plastic drop cloth. You would probably put it on a table to eat on it. All right, how about this? You could take... take. Yeah, it's tape. Okay. And you could use that for painting so you don't paint a special piece. Yeah, yeah, and you could I used this for a game a couple weeks ago at church. Okay, what is this? Rag, you can mm -hmm. clean stuff with. Yeah. It's it's I think it's clean, I hope. How about do you know what this little tool is? You can open paint with it. Yeah, you can open paint with it. Yeah, you can open so have you guys painted with your house before? Uh, not really. Not but really. we have seen a grip. We have seen tools at a grip. Okay, so you've paid attention. All right, so getting a little more... Okay. I have done that. Hey, that can about, serve paint. It can. All right, how you about like, this? You get a paintbrush. You, you can paint, paint the You walls. can paint with this. You, you can, can paint your face. Last but not least, what is this? Uh, paint. paint. Yeah. <laughs> when I first brought this out, you didn't know what this stuff was for, right? Yeah, and then, now I brought this painter's tape. You happen to know that painter's tape is blue. But if I just would have had like a different color tape, you would have thought, oh, you can tape stuff together. All right? And then, but as the more stuff I brought out, you were able to figure out what this stuff went to, right? Yeah, it all goes with paint. It goes with paint. But just looking at one thing or two things, it wasn't quite as clear, was it? Well, sometimes it's like that when we read the Bible. Sometimes we may see one thing and we're like, I don't understand that. But when we don't understand, what can we do? Try to figure it out. Okay. What, what could help you figure it out? Read more. That's always good, to read more, read before and after. Can anyone help you? Who, who could help you? Your mom and dad. That's a great one, your mom and dad. And there's other people. Maybe you could ask a, a teacher at church or a pastor or something. They can help you understand more if you have questions. It's kind of that connects to our story for this week. It's from the book of Acts, where there was this guy from Ethiopia, and he was he was an important guy, he was an official, and he was riding in his chariot back to Africa, uh, and he was reading a scroll from the book of Isaiah, and the Holy Spirit took this guy named Philip, which that's my first name, and so he took him and just put him there. And Philip came up to the chariot and he said, what are you reading? And the guy was reading it out loud and he goes, well, do you understand what it is that you're reading? And the guy said, well, how can I unless somebody tells me? He thought it was a good thing to read the Bible, but he didn't understand it all. And that was okay because God brought Philip there. But just like this guy, he, he saw one little thing here and there, but he didn't see the whole picture. It was like you guys with the paint thing. I brought this tarp out and you thought it was for eating. But that's that's what we, we can't put it all together ourselves. That's okay. We can read more like you said there's also people that can help us and so that's what we can do for that for other people and we can seek out help so that's something for families to talk about this this week and you guys can do that if you have a question you can ask your mom and dad and i bet i bet they can help you out so thanks for helping me guys see you families have a good week